Hi, we're on to card two for our April uh, 24th uh, workshop for the uh, sampler, for the spring sampler and three cards. Uh, this is card two and I think this is so pretty. Love this designer series paper. And uh, on the inside, uh, I have stamped two butterflies and of course the same and those are both from strong and beautiful and everything's listed on the instructions uh, sheet the pdf uh, so this is the stamp set with lots of uh, good things and it's probably hard to see but that is the stamp set so the first thing i want to do is show you how i stamped the inside of it because this the butterfly uh, brilliant stamp is one huge stamp and so, excuse me, so I wanted to show you how I did that. So let's start there, and I'm going to flip your cam the camera down, so hopefully you won't feel dizzy. Here we go. All right, so I am going to see if I can flip my camera around, and hopefully we can get everything in the camera. Uh, we are going to play around with it just a bit. I can see the card here and uh, so I have my stamp so what I did is I positioned my paper first on my and then I laid the stamp uh, prior to it being having ink on it I laid it over top to say that's where I want it positioned then I put my magnets on and then I took my my ink pad which is the pretty peacock so I would have uh, inked taken this and then I just inked these two butterflies. And what I did is I took my uh, simple chamois and just kind of went around the edge, or you could use a, a Q-tip would be great for taking anything off that you didn't want there. And this way, if I don't have enough ink on my card, I can re-ink it, just put it there, press it down on the apparatus, or if you have a large block, which works as well. And that's how I got my stamp in the place that I wanted it. So I wanted to share that with you. And I'm good, as I mentioned in my other videos, it's good to keep your stamps clean. So I'm actually going to take the, uh, no, I'll leave it in the apparatus for now, but I'm going to wash it. And I'm gonna put the apparatus, which comes in handy, especially for multiple cards or for, uh, stamps that are particularly large. I'm going to take my ink pad and I'm going to close my ink pad as well. So the elements to this uh, particular card is we're going to have the pool party base. The pool party base uh, measures uh, eight and a half by five and a half and then it's scored of course at the uh, four and quarter mark. The um, having it double layered on the front so we're gonna have a piece of Pretty Peacock, which is five and a quarter by four, and a piece of the Fine Art Floral Designer Series Paper, which is five and three quarters. And again, all these are on the uh, instructions that are a PDF file for you that you've uh, come into the card, the, the uh, workshop. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere this piece down. I'm going to adhere this one down. So I may do these two first to make sure I get them where I want them. Now, the thing is with using the uh, glue is that it is a little forgiving. I can move it around a little bit more. Uh, so I'm just gonna use glue on the back of this so that I have a little bit of flex of flexibility as it were. So here we go. And uh, if your designer series paper had an up or a down, uh, you'd probably wanna make sure you position it such. Uh, but I think this one is pretty forgiving in that sense. And so here we go. I am going to uh, adhere this to the front uh, with my glue. And I'm just going to try to get the, just eyeball it for the borders that will be all the way around. And there we go. And then I'm actually going to use my uh, running uh, tape, the Stampin' Up! tape, uh, to go through uh, the, for the cards. Now these particular ones are no longer available, although it is the Stamping Up, but they have a new one, I have a couple of new ones that are available. So this here, again, I'm just going to eyeball it and I'm going to position it on the card. So we have roughly the same border all the way around. There we go. Now I have used the, and again, I mentioned this in the instructions, I've uh, used my two and a quarter inch punch and I took the DSPs, the same as this, 
nice thing about Stampin' Up! is they coordinate their products. So on the back side, this actually goes really well with the um, with the uh, paper on the front. So I just decided that that's what I was going to use. Then I used the Pretty Peacock ink. I use a dabber, and you can see how this fits so nicely on your finger. I took ink, I took ink up onto the dabber, on uh, the dauber, and then just put it all the way around. So really, it's better to start with the little bit, and if you want to add more, add more. So I just went all the way around, giving that little uh, extra emphasis on the on that. And I think I'll just kind of go around again and just. Uh, Kind of flip it out from the put a little more on in the paper and again this is really to do with your preference of what you like and uh, so i think that is sufficient and again as always i am going to close my ink up i'm actually going to take one of my simple chamois because i'm concerned my fingers now have ink on them and i don't want to get it on my card so even though this looks dirty, it's not, uh, just stains. It works lovely for taking ink off, even fingers. So there we go, that's done. So now what I'm going to do is I would have stamped uh, from the same set, the Strong and Beautiful, congratulations. And then I just uh, used my cutter to cut it. Then I have a punch that does these lovely ends. So this is the uh, pick a punch. So you decide which one you want to use and uh, these locks, so I unlock it, you just pick out. So this was the one I wanted to use. So I flip it over, it's this one here. I would take it so the writing's on the front when I flip it through, I won't have to cut it again, but you can see how it comes right through the middle and then you just punch it down. I did that on both ends and I also did it for the yellow. So I just took my piece after I stamped it. Now you could actually measure beforehand, but I stamped it first, cut it. And then I measured a piece that would give me a little border all the way around. So it depends on what you use for your sentiment, what size this will be. And as you see, the pick a punch has a variety of sizes in it. So you really have lots of uh, options. So I'm going to glue this down to my bumblebee uh, cardstock. This is pool party. I'm going to glue this down. And then I'm going to put dimensions on the back. And then I'm going to dry fit it. Now, here we go. Oops, I am going to, oops. I love the glue because I can play with it. There we go, there we go. Then on the back, I am going to put my dimensionals on and I love my pick a tool for even doing this, the pointy end as it were. And I just, I just pick them up. Now, some people might like to do it with their fingers. I happen to like this and I just put it down there this up and I'm going to put one in the middle. Now this has a little uh, plastic um, piece on the back so it's see this here so that won't unless until I take that off that isn't going to stick to anything. Now I'm going to take my card and I'm going to say okay where do I want everything so here we go I want that there there's the card that I had already done and I want to make sure I'm in the camera, I am. And uh, I want that about there. And then I have my, my beautiful butterfly that was uh, cut out with the uh, Brilliant Wing dies. And I'm going to put, I, I don't want it right in the center. I actually want it off a little bit, but I want the um, sentiment. I'm going to put it off to one side too. So everything's not just, depends on who you are, what you like. So I think about there is where I'm going to put it. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this and I'm going to get some uh, of my multi-purpose glue and I am going to put that on the back. And again, don't overdo it. You don't want it to squish out on the sides. So I want this. I want a bit of a border here and I knew roughly uh, where I wanted to put it. So it's about somewhere in there. I'm going to put that in next. Then the next thing I'm going to put on will be the sentiment, the congratulations. And I'm going to use my pick tool to take the backings off of my dimensionals. There, here we go. And again, I want, if you looked at this one, I like having the little border on this side as well. 
and uh, so I'm just going to and I basically look at it and say how is it positioned on the card and so I think I like that I try to get it straight there we go and then I'm going to put glue dots on the back as I show depending on what order you watch these cards in I am going to take a glue dot and put right there and I'm going to get a glue dot and I'm going to I'm going to roll it now again uh, you can do it with a pick to yourself or put it between your fingers and just give it a little roll without it losing all of its uh, stickiness and then take that and put on the body there we go and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it here now I don't want to cover up the words but I do want it to kind of uh, go over this card again just to get that layered look so there we go and there we are and all I have to do is adhere my my uh, inside of my card right there that'll be as easy as that and I am going to put on some gems now depending on what you have for colors I find the holiday rhinestone basic jewel is very purposeful because it gives me lots of uh, colors to work with I think I'm going to go with the the green because it actually the color of the paper underneath is going to uh, it, it'll all blend even though it's a different color there we go and then I'm going to do a couple of small ones so I think I'll do one up here and every card probably is a little different you don't have to put them you know exactly exactly where I put them um, I'm trying to decide if I want it on the on the card itself or whether I want to have it I think I will put it right there there we go. So there's my card completed. Another another uh, beautiful card. I hope you're enjoying this. I certainly am. And uh, we'll be able to uh, move on to our next our next card.